Hello class, this is Sir Pat and welcome to another video lecture for 21st century literature. In this video, we will be tackling about Justice, written by Ralph Semino Galan. So this particular video lecture would focus furthermore on processing um, the literary piece under the justice system. So we discussed already the case of Paco Laranyaga. And this time, we're going to deep dive in this particular poem. Before we proceed in this particular video lecture, just make sure first that you have read already the poem itself. Okay, I'll repeat. Before you proceed in watching this video, make sure that you were able to watch already, or sorry, you were able to read already Justice by Ralph Semino. All right. So this particular poem, this is Ralph Semino. Okay. He is described as a poet, a literary critic, a translator, and associate professor of literature and humanities. So he is very critical when it comes to different societal issues, not just about the justice system, but necessarily the problems that the Philippines is facing in the 21st century. So we've mentioned of you or you see um, several words or vocabularies in the poem, and one of which is basically impeachment, all right? So I'm pretty sure that not all, uh, that all of you are aware already of impeachment. And when we say impeachment, it's a charge of misconduct made against the holder of a public office. So um, in the 1987 Constitution, it is stipulated there that there are only limited of number of impeachable officials, and what one of which is the chief magistrate or what we call the chief justice. Chief justice is the highest um, justice in the land, which he supervises the highest court of the land, which is the Supreme Court. So according to Article 11 of the 1987 Constitution, under accountability of public officers, we have to understand that public office is a public trust, meaning to say, that people who are fueling the justice system in the Philippines should and have the accountability to the people in uh, to make their responsibilities or to fulfill their responsibilities in a rightful manner in accordance of the law. Public officers and employees must at all times be accountable to the people, serve them with utmost responsibility, integrity, loyalty, and efficiency, act with patriotism and justice, and lead modest lives, okay? So, or live a modest lives, okay? So it's very clear in the 1987 Constitution that the public officials are not supposedly or not supposed to take advantage of the people, especially the poor, but it is important Important that public officials should do their jobs and do their duties and responsibilities in accordance to their man mandate to the country, right? Also in section two, here are the impeachable officials. The president, the vice president, members of the Supreme Court, the members of the constitutional commissions and the ombudsman, may be removed from office on impeachment or and conviction of culpable violation of the Constitution, treason, bribery, graft and corruption, other high crimes or betrayal of public trust. That's why if you will see in 2004, President or former President Joseph Ejercito Estrada was impeached as the president of the Republic of the Philippines, primarily because, one, he was culpable in violating the Constitution. He was a public officer, but he was not a public trust. He also committed several counts of graft and corruption, which made them or made him vulnerable to this particular impeachment trial. So this is how strong our justice is. This is how strong the system However, we have to ask ourselves, what's the problem on why we are not able to fulfill and put the fangs of these particular laws and constitu or 
regulations ano, to people in power because we have to make it consistent in order for this to be sharper and in order for this to be fair among the Filipino people. Now, let's go to the vocabulary words of the poem Justice by Ralph Semino Calat. First word is accoutrements. Accoutrements are additional items of dress or equipment or other items carried or worn by a person or used for a particular activity. Accoutrements, this, if you're going to take a look at it, justices, um, they wear a, um, a kind of academic gown, but it was not an academic gown, but it's a black um, gown you know, during trials because this is how the accoutrements you know, represent, is represented. Next word was chief magistrate. Chief magistrate is a public official, executive or judicial, whose office is highest in its class. So meaning in the poem Ralph of, of Ralph, Simino Galan, um, it was indicated there that it was referring to the chief justice, Renato Corona, who were in each ano, during the time of President Benigno Aquino. The third. Culpability is a responsibility for a fault or wrong blame. All right. So here again, our justice system are also capable of committing mistakes. But the question is, how do they commit mistakes? Or how do they, sorry, how do they rather make up for those mistakes? Because as much as possible, justice system should not commit mistakes, especially in delivering the justice to the victims of different cases in the society. Next is derision. Derision is contemptuous ridicule or mockery. If you would be put in an impeachment trial, it would be a derision for your end because it only means that you're not really doing your job or at some point people saw that you are not fit in the position anymore. So the glory that you got when you are stepping inside in that position, and if you're going to commit mistake and um, fool the people, then it would be the exact say or exact opposite emotion that you will feel if you will be facing impeachment trials. Just imagine what ERAP and what CJ Corona felt during impeachment trials. So there are some literary devices that were incorporated in this particular the first one is uh, what we have is symbolism. Okay, symbolisms are important to create a deeper meaning than the literal meaning that they would convey. So if you're going to take a look at it, all right, there are a lot of symbols that were built in the poem, how it was represented, and how it basically led to the character of chief or to the case of Chief Justice Renato Corona. So here are some things that you have to. Remember, ano, in this particular poem. Number one, these are the accountants at of her office. The blindfold symbolizing impartiality. This is the poem already. A golden pair of scales measuring validity of evidence given pro and con. The double-edged sword that pierces through. It was being described here, ano, Lady Justicia. Ano. The blindfold means impartiality. Justice has no favorites. And it has to be objective. If you're going to take a look at the case of Paco Laranyaga, basically the blindfold was removed. Or if it, if, if it was not removed, then basically the blindfold is see-through because it was not the system who's working anymore, but it was the influence, the prominence, and the power already in that particular case. But we have to understand that justice should be objective as much as or at all times. When we say golden pair of scales, this serve as the emblem of evaluating and weighing the testimony with equality for both parties. Which means to say, we have to understand that if the justice system is working, we have to understand that everybody has a presumption of innocence. That somebody will only be judged inside the courtroom or inside the rule of Right? Double-edged sword is me, uh, means that this is where we serve as the warrior who strikes or breaks the wall of lies 
to show the truth. This double-edged sword, this double-edged sword represents that inside a courtroom, there will be people who are lying there. But it's not the job of the people to know who's lying, but it's the job of the justice system to break those lies, to reveal the truth. That's what you have to understand. Okay? Next. The next part of the poem, the thick fabric of lies, thoughts better of truth, which ultimately determines whether the defendant's life is worth saving. In I, Elizalde Navarro's oil painting titled, Is the Philippine Justice the Figure of Romance? If you're going to take a look at it, the thoughts better of truth is defined as in order to find out whether the defendant is guilty or not, one must find out the truth and give the right their verdict. And whose job is that? It's the job of the justice system to work. We have to find the truth because we have to break all the lies that are being presented inside the court. Okay, that's how the justice system should definitely work okay when we say jail is alden of ours painting it is an oil painting that slowly fades and disappears and soon gone it is symbolized i know that if we will not act on it if we will not act about impartiality about prominence about power about money connected to the justice system then little by little, our justice system will be flawed and will slowly fade. And at some point, the justice system is not for everybody anymore, but it is for the rich. And the justice system, what we do not want on the worst case, is that the justice system is already anti-poor. Because at the end of the day, justice system should protect all the people. Of the Roman, let's continue. Of the Roman goddess Hustitia, slowly fades into thin air swallowed by pigments, cloudy as doubts in my certain country, where right and wrong are cards that can be shuffled like a pile of money bills. It's a very strong line of this particular poem, where cards shuffled like a pile of money bills, it illustrates that justice system can be played around, can be, fo uh, can be fooled, and at the same time can be mobilized by money where money can control everything. And that's the first thing that you can say or that you can see if the justice system is flawed or not. Okay? Even the land chief magistrate is not immune from culpability, found guilty. He has to face the music of derision. Music of derision is when you face all the criticisms and consequences of what he did. Right? So this particular poem illustrates how the narrative of justice system really works in the Philippines. And that's something that we have to understand. Okay, so that ends my video lecture for this particular lesson. I hope that I will be seeing you next time in my next video. Bye, everybody.